Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have done a makeup inspired look by Taylor Momsen and it's from this photo here. So if you do want to know how I achieved this look then please keep on watching this video. Start by moisturising my face as usual using my Express Hydration Primer by Nivea and I'm going to be applying that with a Kabuki brush. I'm going to be using this photo of Taylor Momsen for my inspired look. So her eyebrows will look more natural so I'm going to be using just my Milani Stay Put Brow Colour in the shade Soft Brown. I'm just going to be using that alone, I'm not going to be using my MUA one as well. What I'm going to do is just brush the brow gel through it lightly. So basically all I'm doing is just coating my own brows with the brow gel. So for foundation I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Paris Infallible 24 hour matte foundation. This is in the shade 10 porcelain and then I'm going to be mixing it with the Lost and Finish 25 hour Rimmel London foundation in the shade 200 soft beige. And I'm also going to be applying this on my eyes as well because in this photo of Taylor, she like this part underneath her um, eyebrow is quite natural looking to her skin. So I'm going to be applying foundation on my eyes as well, which I don't usually do, but I'm going to be doing it for this tutorial. This definitely needs a wash because I'm pretty sure I eyeliner that is on it so I'm going to try it and avoid using that part so I'm just going to be applying my Latin Perfection Ultimate Wear Concealer and I'm just going to be applying this on the base of my lids And then just to set that I'm going to be applying my collection Primed and Ready Invisible Setting Powder which I still need to get a new one of these. Eyeshadow. I'm going to be using London One in the Shadows palette which is the Morphe 350 dupe. Um, and then just to apply all over the lid I'm just going to be applying this white shade here because literally her full lid is white so I'm just going to be doing that and then I'm going to be applying this red shade here just on the like usually where you would place eyeliner on the top part, part of the lid so just like this. I like this dark brown shade here but a very thin line just where the lash line is. So I'm just going to apply that red shade first. I'm just going to apply it using this very thin flat brush. going to blend that out. 
making it a little bit darker again. I'm going to apply that dark brown shade, but just um, on the lower on the lash line, and I'll just literally be stamping that on. for now and then moving on to the rest of the face I'm just going to be highlighting and concealing my face with that same collection concealer just blending that out with my beauty blender blended out I'm going to be setting my under eye concealer with the finishing powder um, HD finishing powder by NYX with a tapered kabuki brush wipe the excess product away and the rest of my face is my invisible setting powder by collection to use that red shade again and then just smoke it out underneath my bottom lash line and I'm going to do it quite low as well because that's how she has hers I want to have the same jawline shape um, she is a little bit bronzed on her cheeks and forehead so I'm just going to contour a little bit like how I usually do my contour anyway but with my nose contour I'm just going to do it straight down just because her nose in this photo just looks a little bit more like curved down if that makes any sense so um, for contour I'm just going to be using the face contour kit by Sleek Obviously just to give myself a little bit of colour as well because she does look a little bit not as pale as usual in that photo so I'm going to use a smaller brush for my nose contour I'm going to round it off at the bottom like I usually do I'm just going to bring it straight down then I'm just going to bronze my face a little bit with the Bronze Glow Mosaic Bronzer by Collection. And then just a little bit on the forehead and then that's it. For blush I'm going to be using the Milani Bates blush in the shade at Luminosa just because it looks like the blush in this photo is like this colour, like a peach pink colour. So I'm just going to apply this on the apples of my cheeks and then swipe upwards. She does have like a little mole as well just above her top lip on the left side. So I'm just going to mimic that by using the um, eyebrow pencil in the shade Blonde by MUA. bit too big but it will have to do so she does have a little bit of a glow to her skin so so I have a highlighter just because it is quite glowy and natural I'm just going to be using the one from the face contour kit by sleek this is what it looks like I'm going to apply that on my cheekbones 
on my temples. On my nose. And then she has a little bit on her forehead as well, so I'm just going to wear some here. So I found mascara, she doesn't have any false eyelashes on, but they do look a little bit like clumped together in a way. So I'm just going to be using my usual collection all day wear mascara and then the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. With the Too Faced mascara, I don't really apply it on my bottom lashes because it makes them go a little bit clumpy, which I don't like. But in the photo of Taylor, hers are a little bit clumped together, so I am going to apply them on the bottom lashes as well. In this photo, her lips are quite glossy, but I don't earn any gloss. So what I'm going to do is apply my EOS lip balm first. Just apply the soft matte lip cream by NYX in the shade Stockholm just because the lips are quite natural. Set that all in place. So I'm just going to be using the Superstay 24 hour makeup lock in setting spray by Maybelline. And then this is the finished makeup look. So this does bring us to the end of my video. If you did enjoy watching this makeup tutorial of a makeup look inspired by Taylor Momsen, then please give it a big thumbs up. And if you aren't already, then please subscribe because I would love that very much. I will see you guys in my video next week. Bye guys.